assalamu alaikum youtube i hope you all are good and fine today i am gonna tell you how you can change your windows processor name permanently even after restart i know there are many youtubers who made video on this content but after restart your processor names come back to normal i will show you see my computer name is core i5 4 generation so i am changing it to i7 i will show you first of all you need to create a folder which empty folder name it anyone and now click on start and type r e g e t i t and press enter after pressing enter you need to just click on hk local machine click on it then hardware then description then system and then central processor processor don't need to open just right click on it and click on export now click desktop the folder you created permanently changed and just name as you want I am naming it CPU and you need to type name only and just press enter now just close it now going to this folder you can see that there is a file you just need to click edit and you just need to change the here are four things you have to do four uh, options you have to change it the processor names the first one is i5 i am changing it to i7 you can change it as you want all this is the first one and you can see this is the second one here also have to change from here and scrolling down this is the third one you have to change from here you have to change from here you just need to scroll down more even more and this is the fourth one you have to change from here when you have done this all four times just click save it as now you have to need is to right click new and create a text document just click on add it and now you just need to just need to just copy this all from here above and copy this direction and paste it here now type here the symptom like this assemble and press type here the this cpu name the name you type here cpu and type dot r e g this is important now you have to double quote it on both side here and in front also you have to put this double quotations now now just type here r e g e d i t edited space slash so slash and capital s now you need important point is here that you must press space bar if you did not press space bar this will not work and you say that my trick is not working you must have to press space bar and then you need to press save when you do it it's save just now i want to tell you sir, one more thing you have to select file and change folder and search option then click on view and select this from this is like this you have to select show hidden files now scroll down and uncheck the option hide extensions from unknown file this just uncheck it and you can now see you can now see the extensions file now you have to rename this and name it i am naming it microsoft dot now you have to put it b80 back let's click it yes now you can see your file is changed now nothing you have to do is just select and send it to desktop send it to desktop and now just rename it short like this now all you have to do is right click on it select properties then no you have to if you restart the computer it will show so we will hide it by normally window to minimized window now press apply click ok just cut it from here and go to my pc c 
users and here you have to select your user mys hp that's where we hp now select app data now roaming and now you have to select microsoft then you have to go into windows then you have to go into start menu i know it's a big long <laughs> programs now you have to go into startup and now here you have to paste it now you can just write uh, all done it is important just that go to my properties and make sure it is minimized otherwise it will show to everyone i will open this file from here and see what's happened it is asking you to like this it's asking you yes or no so if you want to make changes like this it will never ask yes or no you must have to uh, let me show you that uh, the pc is option changed or not mm. uh, right click go to properties and see it changes into i7 fourth but if you did not did one thing and you will say that my trick is not working you must have to make sure that yes or no option will not come so what can we do to make it not come just click on start and control panel type control panel and select control panel now from here just select user account then system and security then you have to select change user account control setting and just make it never notify me last and press ok now see this comes next time it will never comes press yes i will reopen it see it's never comes it slightly changes the registry this is a new trick it's never see us on youtube now all it's all is done you just you don't need to do anything all you need to do is just restart your computer and it will automatically changes and it's a permanent way